You ready for chapter nine? Something different about Mrs. Jules. Do you have any predictions before we get started? That's a good one. Any others? Uh-huh. Well, let's read it and find out. The children returned from winter break. On each desk were two knitting needles and a hunk of yarn. Today we're going to learn how to knit, said Mrs. Jules. She showed the class how it is done. See, you stick this needle through here, then wrap this around this like this, stick this through this, pull this like this, and then you stick this here. Any questions? Do you have any questions? Do you understand what she was telling you to do? Everyone stared at her. Can you stare at her confused? Good, said Mrs. Jules. I want everybody to make socks. Okay, get started. Damien looked at his knitting needles. He didn't have a clue. He looked back at Mrs. Jules. Now more than ever, he was sure she was somehow different. She was sitting at her desk, knitting and eating bolognios. Damien couldn't remember Mrs. Jules ever eating a bolognio before. A bolognio was an Oreo cookie, except instead of the white part, there was a round hunk of bologna. Miss Mush invented them. Hey, Mac, whispered Damien. Does Mrs. Jules seem different to you? She's getting bigger, said Mac. That's not a nice thing to say, said Damien. I didn't say it to Mrs. Jules. I didn't go, hey, Mrs. Jules, I think you're getting bigger. Mrs. Jules cleared her throat as she stood up. She walked around the room. Very nice, DJ. You're doing fine, Rondi. She stopped at Joe's desk. Oh, Joe, she gushed. Look, everybody, I want you to see Joe's sock. She held it up. Isn't it the most beautiful sock you ever saw? It was a great sock. Everybody oohed and odd. Joe was as surprised as anyone. He didn't know he didn't know he knew how to make socks, but the boy was born to knit. Mrs. Jules started to cry. <laughs> I love these socks, she sobbed. Uh-oh, said Kathy. I think she's finally flipped out. I love you, Kathy, said Mrs. Jules. She looked around the room. I love you all. She put her hands on Kathy's desk. I love this desk. I love the blackboard. I love the clock on the wall. There was a ruler on the floor. Mrs. Jules picked it up. I love this ruler, she declared. Hey, that's mine, said Dana. But uh, that's okay, Mrs. Jules, you can have it. I don't want your ruler, Dana. Your ruler, Dana, said Mrs. Jules, handing it to her. You want my pair of scissors, offered Shari. Don't give her anything sharp, warned Kathy. Mrs. Jules wiped away her tears and smiled at the class. I'm going to miss all of you very much, she said. Are you going away, asked Damien. Yeah, to the loony bin, whispered Kathy. Are you sick, asked Eric Evans. No, I'm not sick. In fact, I'm better than I've ever been, she beamed. I'm going to have a baby. Everyone gasped. Can you gasp? <gasps> Damien couldn't believe it. He was so happy he jumped out of his seat and hugged Mrs. Jules. She was soon surrounded by all her students. Even Kathy wanted to hug her. Today is my last day. She told her students, my doctor doesn't want me walking up and down 30 flights of stairs every day. I wasn't even supposed to come today, but I just had to say goodbye. I thought you were getting bigger, said Mac, but I didn't want to say anything. Thank you, Mac. You are very considerate. Can I touch your stomach, asked Stephen. Mrs. Jules laughed. Sure. The children took turns touching her stomach. What are you going to name your baby, asked Allison. I don't know yet, said Mrs. Jules. What do you think? Well, if she's a girl, said Allison, I think you should name her Rainbow Sunshine. That's a, that's a nice name, said Mrs. Jules. And if he's a boy, Buckethead, said Allison. She didn't like boys. If he's a boy, you should name him Jet Rocket, said Joe. Jet Rocket Jules. That has a nice ring to it. And what if she's a girl? Cootie face, said Joe. Mrs. Jules laughed. So let me get this straight, she said. If he's a boy, I'll name him Buckethead. Right, said Allison and Rondi. And if she's a girl, I'll name her Cootie Face. Right, said Joe and John. Damien laughed. He knew Mrs. Jules was only joking. At least he hoped she was. Terrence placed a, a palm, his palm flat against Mrs. Jules' stomach. Hey, the dude kicked me. Suddenly, Damien felt very sad. He was going to miss her a lot. He wiped a tear from his eye. It's, it's unfair, he shouted. We finally come back to Wayside School after being gone for so long, and now you're leaving us? I have to, said Mrs. Jules. I know, whined Damien. You have to make sure that you and your baby are healthy, but it still isn't fair. I think you'll like your substitute teacher, said Mrs. Jules. I spoke to him over the vacation. He seems like a very nice man. A man? Cool. They all thought it was pretty neat to have a man teacher. 
Yes, said Mrs. Jules. His name is Mr. Gorth. If you could name Mrs. Jules' baby, what would you name her baby? Either a boy or a girl. What would you name him? You can send your ideas to me if you'd like. 